emotionally crushed by the deaths of Rob and Catelyn, the only family she believes she had left, apart from Jon Snow, Sansa refuses to eat, despite pleas from Shay. When Tyrion attempts to comfort her, she reveals to him that she can no longer sleep, but instead lies awake all night thinking about how her mother and brother died, having learned that the phrase had sewn Grey Wind's head onto Rob's decapitated corpse and later flung Catelyn's corpse into the trident to rot. Tyrion tells Sansa that he didn't know Rob very well, but the brief time he met him in Winterfell was enough for him to believe that Rob was a good man. Having also learned of Rob's death, Jon Snow confides to Samuel Tarly about the last time he saw his brother, remembering their farewell in the courtyard. He confesses how he felt he lived in Rob's shadow, feeling Rob was better than him at everything when they were young but Jon couldn't hate him and they had loved one another as brothers. Sam tells Jon he feels the same way about him. At the Dreadfort, Ramsay has also learned of Rob's death and joins his father in pledging allegiance to the Lannisters. While being shaved by Theon, now going by the name, Reek, Ramsay tells him of Rob's death at Roose Bolton's hands and mockingly offers his condolences, knowing full well that Theon loved Rob like a brother. Despite his betrayal, Theon is visibly shocked at the news of Rob's death, and for a moment appears to be on the verge of slitting Ramsay's throat with the razor in retaliation, but refrains from doing so since Roose and Locke are also present. Ramsay is also aware of Rob's close relationship with Jon, whom Ramsay claims may be a threat to their hold on the North if he is to seek revenge for Rob's death. At the wedding feast of King Joffrey and Marjorie Tyrell, Lady Olena Tyrell briefly consoles Sansa about the Red Wedding. Olena notes that despite it being a time of war, it was still horrid to murder someone in such a disgusting manner, and at a wedding no less, even though ironically Olena commits a similar crime only moments later by poisoning and subsequently murdering Joffrey at his own wedding feast. Later, during the feast, King Joffrey offers a mock reenactment of the War of the Five Kings with dwarf performers, an insult to Tyrion. One dwarf wears a fake wolf head over his head and constantly yells, I'm the king in the north, only to end up, beheaded, by the dwarf portraying Joffrey. Much to Sansa's disgust and heartache, the dwarf Joffrey then simulates having intercourse with the decapitated, wolf head. Joffrey is assassinated moments later, ironically perishing at his own wedding feast whereas Rob did at his uncle's wedding.